Believe it or not, the Five Nights at Freddy's movie has landed on the big screen. I know, I'm just as awestruck as you are. It still feels so surreal that we're living in an era where a FNAF movie actually exists and is being enjoyed by fans across the world. With its nods to long-term fans and countless hidden gems sprinkled throughout, it's like receiving a cherished love letter from a franchise we've come to adore. And naturally, it wouldn't be a FNAF experience without those heart-racing jump scares, those intense kills, and the memorable death sequences that have become so synonymous with the series. So let's deep dive into the terrifying world of the FNAF movie as we break down each shocking moment. From those that may have missed the mark, to the scenes that will go down in horror movie history. We're here to rank every single one of them. Grab your security guard hat and flashlight, because I'm Connor from Slurp, and this is our worst to best ranking of every jump scare, kill, and death from the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Number 16, Foxy hunts the rookie guard. Starting off our chilling countdown, we dive straight into one of the movie's earliest shocks. Remember that rookie security guard desperately trying to outwit the horrors of Freddy's? This film masterfully cranks up the tension, especially with Foxy's hauntingly iconic hum growing louder as he zeroes in on his prey. Although this moment might not give you the traditional jump out of your seat scare, it's a subtle homage to countless YouTuber reactions we've seen over the years. I mean, this security guard gives Markiplier a run for his money. It may not be the scariest, but it's a brilliantly crafted introduction to the film's dark and sinister world. Number 15, Golden Freddy's Silent Strike on Auntie Karen. Creeping in at number 15, we're treated to a kill that's chillingly off screen, but boy does it pack a punch. Abby's unsuspecting Aunt Jane, lost in her evening TV show, unaware that the menacing Golden Freddy lurks in the shadows. As Abby follows those eerily familiar sounds and nod to the game, she discovers the chilling sight of Jane's lifeless legs peeking out from behind the coffee table. Though Golden Freddy's ghostly companion suggests she's merely dozed off. I don't know, I can't help but think he might be fronting. Number 14, Freddy's ominous gaze on Mike. Sliding into number 14, we have a moment that might blur the lines of a traditional jump scare, but it's undeniable in its chilling effectiveness. Mike is seen navigating the eerie corners of the pizzeria on a desperate mission to rescue Abby. He thinks he's out of sight, but in a heart-stopping instance, stage-bound Freddy swiftly shifts his gaze. This brief yet haunting stare-down beautifully encapsulates the sheer dread the original games instilled in the players. Is a visual reminder, Freddy is always watching. Number 13, Foxy's Fleet and Stare. Zooming in to number 13, it's a quick moment, so quick you might just miss it. But for diehard FNAF fans, it's an electrifying nod to the games that we love. Just as Mike's eyes snap open from a snooze, there's Foxy lingering in the hallways. This brief encounter feels like it's been plucked straight from the video game, further solidifying Foxy as a complete standout in this film. And that's high praise, especially from someone who proudly calls themselves Chica's biggest sim, but I, I mean fan. Number 12, Mr. Cupcake's Vent Surprise. Bounding into our number 12 spot is none other than Mr. Cupcake, proving he's not just a side dish in this horror movie feast. The brilliance of this jump scare unfolds as the pizzeria intruder steps into the main office, only to be met with the unsettling gaze of Chica and Bonnie via the security camera. A chilling homage to the game's classic suspense. But wait, there's a twist. Chica playfully places Mr. Cupcake on a mission, sending him darting through the vents to ambush the unsuspecting intruder. While it might not send shivers down your spine like the others, it serves up a delicious mix of horror and humor. Number 13. 
Number 11. Chica and Mr. Cupcake, the devious duo. Thus missing out on the top 10 is our dynamic duo. Chica and Mr. Cupcake are back to deliver a nerve-raking thrill ride. It all starts in the pizzeria's kitchen when an unsuspecting young intruder gets drawn to a mysterious sound from the fridge. As our focus narrows, Chica stealthily trots past in the background, a masterclass in suspense building. We all hold our breath, expecting a jump scare as the fridge door swung open. But no, we're met with a brilliant fake out, a sudden clatter of pans allowing Mr. Cupcake a swift getaway and reunion with Chica. Tension is palpable as we anxiously wait for the inevitable chilling climax. Number 10. Hank's Closet Confrontation Starting off our top 10, we have a scene that while devoid of the traditional jump scares, leaves an indelible mark. The iconic Christian Stokes brings Hank to life and, and finds himself unwittingly trapped in a dimly lit closet within the pizzeria. But he's not alone. The menacing Bonnie lurks, poised for the kill. I mean, Stokes' performance is nothing short of award-worthy. The sheer terror of his screams deserves an Oscar alone. The filmmakers tread the line masterfully, ensuring a PG-13 rating while vividly conveying the gut-wrenching brutality of the scene. Just take a moment to tune yourself into those bone-chilling snaps and cracks. Number 9. Foxy's Pizzeria Pursuit of Abby. Venturing into our number 9 slot, it's less about the sheer scare and more about the spine tingling suspense. Though it might not catapult you from the couch, this scene's build up will certainly have your heart racing. Foxy once again proves he's the film's most formidable animatronic, relentlessly trailing after Abby amidst the pizzeria's nostalgic backdrop. Invocative lighting, eerie audio and those throwback arcade machines, this scene is an atmospheric masterstroke. The climax? Abby's frantic escape into the ball pit with Foxy hot on her trail. And then, just as we brace ourselves for Foxy's chilling grip, there's a twist. It's Vanessa to the rescue, not our feared Foxy. Talk about a pulse racing sequence. Number eight, Mike's frosty face off with Mr. Cupcake. Jumping into the eighth spot is a scene that sweetens the horror with a touch of unsuspected comedy. Mr. Cupcake, arguably on par with Foxy in terms of screen brutality, leaps back into action here. Having just witnessed Chica's downfall, this sugar-coated sentinel isn't about to let things slide. As Mike and Abby sprint down that all-too-familiar corridor, they find themselves ambushed by our vengeful, bite-sized antagonist. There's nothing sweet about Mr. Cupcake's bite, as Mike soon discovers. And who would have thought it? This pint-sized pastry ranks among the film's top terror bringers. Number 7. Ghost Kid Foxy Securing the seventh spot is a surprise that is sure to haunt your dreams. But it's no shock that the phantom child bearing Foxy's signature traits claims one of the film's most spine-chilling moments. As Mike delves deeper into his nightmarish quest, seeking answers about his brother's disappearance, he stumbles upon the foxy embodied ghost child. The eerie encounter escalates quickly, with the child slashing a sizable wound into Mike's arm with a familiar pirate hook. But brace yourselves, because what follows is the real terror. A ghastly image sure to linger long after the credits roll. Truly the stuff of nightmares. Number 6. The Balloon Boy Double Whammy Ah, oh, the polarising Balloon Boy. While he might not have been a fan favourite before the movie, it seems the film has given him a comedic redemption arc. Against all odds, he's become one of the most memorable and hilarious parts of the FNAF movie. His debut in this film is early, and trust us, it's a doozy. Ha <laughs> ha 
Ah, oh, this unexpected cameo had fear goers, myself including, wheezing. But the fun didn't stop there. Balloon Boy makes a second, equally comical appearance later on. Come on, this has got to be a tradition now. Every time we see Balloon Boy in one of these FNAF movies, someone has to give that quirky figure a confused and slightly freaked out spin around. So I've got to admit, I'm fully on the Balloon Boy bandwagon. Number five, William Afton's wickedness. We've made it to the top five, and now we have a scene that may not startle with the sudden scares, but grips us with its raw, emotional intensity. While it might not fit the conventional jump scare or death categories, especially given the victim will 100% return in the sequel, there's no denying its place on this list. If we were grading solely on entrances, Spring Bonnie's dramatic debut would deserve its own number one spot. But today, it's all about that heart-stopping moment when William Afton takes a dark turn against his own kin. Any lingering doubts about Afton's malevolence? Completely erased in an instant. Matthew Lillard's portrayal is nothing short of captivating, fully embracing the villain's unhinged nature with an electrifying performance. This scene is an unforgettable testament to his sinister character. We need more Matthew Lillard in the sequel. Number 4. Foxy's Hallway Finale Swerving into our full spot is the ever eerie Foxy with yet another memorable hallway haunt. Seriously, Foxy, take a moment and revel in your movie stardom. You've truly outshined yourself as the spookiest animatronic from Freddy's. As we're dragged back into that ominous hallway, one unfortunate intruder desperately seeks escape from the mechanical menaces. But with Foxy's chilling hum echoing in the background, we the audience can't help but feel that familiar dread build up. <laughs> Dean encapsulates the very essence of FNAF, that intense anticipation and inevitable scare. Hats off to you Foxy, in the world of jump scares you truly reign supreme. Number 3. Balloon Boy's Encore Performance Okay, top three time homies, breaking into the top three is a scene that masterfully blends humour and nostalgia, proving that not all jump scares are meant to terrify. Just when we think we're safe to unwind to the hypnotic beats of the Living Tombstones FNAF track during the credits, the movie pulls a fast one on us, with a post credit sequence that's nothing short of comedic gold. Echoing an earlier scene featuring YouTuber Corey Kenshin dozing off in a taxi, we're given a delightful surprise that will have FNAF fans, both old and new, chuckling in their seats. I said, read the <laughs> Honestly, it's genius moments like these that make this film unforgettable. With such a standout performance in this movie, can we start a petition for a Balloon Boy centered spin off? Who's with us? Oh, it's just me. Number 2 The Springlock Scene. Topping nearly every FNAF fan's wish list was the live action depiction of the notorious Springlock failure scene. And boy, did the film deliver. Taking a spot so high on our list, this scene brings a much speculated moment to visceral life. The sheer brutality of the sequence is palpable without drowning us in excessive gore, a testament to the filmmaker's craft and dedication to preserving the essence of the FNAF PG-13 rating. Some might argue on the classification of this as a death scene on this list. After all, you know what they say about William Afton. I always come back. But who cares? I guess you could say Spring Bonnie died. Number 1. The Bite of 23 If you're a diehard FNAF aficionado, then this scene is likely to remain etched in your memory for a very long time. Making her entrance into the foreboding pizzeria after witnessing her companions fall one by one, Babysitter Max gets guided by a ghostly child to the series star antagonist, Freddy Fazbear. The film masterfully cranks up the suspense, setting the stage for an unexpected jolt. <laughs> Admittedly, that one really got me. In my opinion, the standout jump scare of the entire movie. But hold on, the real showstopper is yet to come. 
The climax of this scene serves up a spine-chilling execution that doesn't even rely on explicit gore to make its impact. The Bite of 23, ladies and gentlemen. This scene truly exemplifies how to brilliantly craft tension and horror while maintaining a PG-13 rating. Boy, do we need more of these clever kills in the sequel. Well, there you have it folks, our roundup of the most heart-stopping moments from the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Do you think we overlooked a particularly chilling scene? Or perhaps there's a jump scare that you just can't get out of your head? Well, we'd love to hear from you. So drop a comment down below and tell us your picks. Don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned for all things FNAF right here. Once again, I'm Connor, representing Slurp. <laughs> Until next time. This the anthem. If you rockin' with it, put your hands up. Yeah. This the anthem. If you get up and get it, put your hands up. Yeah. This one for the winners if you with me.